Yeah, guys, I'm just making a video. Zion oil and gas. Zion oil and gas. Guys, today it's 4 p.m. UK time, 22nd November 2024. See the price, Zion, it rocketed from. Well, not straight away three cents, but it was at one point just below three cents. And on basically no news that I can see of, I've reached 17.880, almost 18 cents. I think it may have touched 18 cents. So I'll just go into the 10 minute chart. Just go into 10 minute chart. Uh, just going to check. No, 17 cents, point 80, almost 18 cents. More or less 17 and a half. It peaked anyway. 17.80. As you can see. Peaked. A tad above 17.81. Tad above. So let's go back to the one day chart of Zion. And as you can see. At a low point. Yeah, when it was under, it was just under three cents. It reached, that was on the 7th of October. But I think it, did it just, yeah, it just reached there once at that point. And then it started to climb. And it was always more or less, it was for some time. Yeah, it was a long time sitting around that six cents. Going back, it was like six cents and it dropped down to five and then four and so on. But you see, for a long time, it's this sort of, um, it was like around about six cents. It peaked up here to almost 10 cents back in April. But as you can see, like you get these peaks and then back down to around six cents and then below to five cents so it was really trading between five cents to six cents that was the range uh, for a long long time far back as around about here june over a year ago june 2023 shows you on the day chart but suddenly it rose to 18, which is like, I'd have to go to the one week chart, put it on the one week chart to see when it was last 18. It was last 18 around here, September 22, basically two years ago. So for some reason, it just decides to shoot up. Probably if you check my previous videos, I said that it, you know, if it's going to go up, it's going to be one or more of the reasons I gave in, in those videos. You can go and listen to them, check them. So I'm not going to repeat, right? But as you can see, it's rose to almost 18. And that's two years. And it coincides, by the way. If you if you if you if you're looking at other stocks, it coincides with this crypto move that's starting to go up. And just after Trump, you know, just after the election, as if is is as if like someone's flicked a switch and all the cryptos or most of the cryptos or whatever, certain cryptos starting to rise. It's almost manipulated, right? How is it, you know, there's an how is it, you know, because Trump, look, Trump, when Trump left in 2020, 
crypto was still high in 2021, right? And then crypto fell in 2022. Obviously, Biden's in, but Biden was in 2021, right? And then crypto's been down since 2022. And then the elections, the election happened, and then crypto's starting to take off again. And it's exactly the same thing happened to Zion. And there was an extension of the unit program, but that was all, that's all like, you know, no one, well, there are people that buy into that and we don't know how much, right? We don't know by, by how much. But there are people that pay in, like on a, even on a monthly basis or whatever. So we don't know how much, but this obviously is, the price rose obviously because of people buying, like the company buying on behalf of investors, right? There's no other reason for it. May have been pumped a bit, but it's on the OTC now. It's not easy to pump it on the OTC because it's not on a lot of trading platforms anymore, right? It's not on Trading212. You can't buy it on Trading212. Last time I checked. Unless they've changed that. Um, and I don't think it's on eToro. So I don't know. It's um, Let's just check if you can buy it. Let's see what it says. See, it seems to be maybe you can buy it now on... on um, uh, I don't know, unless I actually try and buy, I don't know if it'll go through because they, they basically suspended, tra trading 212 suspended buying stock on Zion. Um, and that, they did that, you know, I think, I can't remember what the price was when they did that. It may have been higher than what it is now, but I, I, ha I hadn't, I haven't been checking if you could buy it, even when it was three cents. I hadn't, but I hadn't even considered buying it at three cents anyway. So that's probably why I, I wasn't checking it. But even if I could buy it, I don't think I would. Because I, I mean, I, I had stock, I, ha I held stock, but I sold it. I'm not happy with this stock. Like after all what's happened and et cetera. But I still, I still own stock on another account. I, st I can't even remember how much I still own. But I'm just not interested in it. Basically, uh, my views haven't changed about Zion. Like, I, I didn't have as stronger views when I bought the stock initially. My views wasn't as strong. But it wasn't because the stock was dropping that my views strong they developed over time right on this side and oil and gas my views developed over time and that's that's the reason i've got my views because i give all my reasons in my videos if you've listened to them i haven't just decided i don't like zion and it's you know and all the reasons why and i, and I say you know what i think about it I mean, I've given all my reasons in my previous videos. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to go into it. Like, so what we're seeing at the moment, anyway, if we go back to the one day chart, right, is, yeah, and I understand people that, you know, want to buy stock in Zion, invest, you know, putting money, they think they're helping Israel, etc. But, you're not helping Israel, you're helping the company, you're helping the people that run the company, you're helping the CEO, you're helping the chairman, you're helping the managers, you're helping all the you know, financial officers and all the people that are getting paid for you know through the company, like you giving money to the company. You're not helping uh, Israel at all. Israel doesn't need Zion. Israel doesn't need oil. Israel buys oil from elsewhere the oil that they need they've got a lot of money they've got money they've got gas they've got gas in the sea they've got like untold gas they've got more gas than they know what to do with it chevron are running the controlling the gas now right it was it was sold to chevron 
the Chevron manager or whatever. So they've got gas. They've got they're, they're super rich, right? From that gas, they could buy oil. Um, I'm not going to go into all the reasons again about, but if if you talk about helping Israel, you're not helping Israel. You're helping you're helping a, an American company called Zion using a biblical name and then using prophecy which doesn't relate to finding oil in Israel or Israel needing oil right well Israel obviously need oil but they buy oil from elsewhere like to make up what they need because the, the, the oil that's you know produced in, in Israel isn't enough, obviously. I think it's something like only 5%, if, if that. So you're not helping Israel. You're not helping Israel, right? You're not helping Israel. You're giving money to the company. And, and stock that you get, if you ever wanted, wanted to sell it, I think you have to pay something like 10 cents per share to sell so it wouldn't be worth let's say you did buy it at three four five cents and you sold it now you'd be at a loss you'd have to sell it at least 20 25 cents to get your money back plus a little bit of profit that's what it boils down to so in order for you to get all your money back plus any substantial profit you're going to have to be looking at a dollar plus, you know, dollar plus, dollar two, dollars, whatever, because you're paying 10 cents per share. So unless you get, let's say you bought it now at 10 cents, so you're going to have to, if you sold it at 20 cents, you're going to have to pay 10 cents per share, and then 10 cents, you get your, your 10 cents back. So you're not making any profit. So if you bought it now, you're going to have to sell it at around about 30 cents to make, to double your money. If you bought it at 10 cents, just over 10 cents, you're going to have to sell it at 30 cents, right? So you're not, you want to help Israel. If you want to help Israel, give money to Israeli charities, right? If you want to help Israel, don't give money to an American company that are pretending that they're trying to find oil to help Israel. Israel don't need the oil. So if you want to help Israel, give money to an Israel chari Israeli charity. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of you know genuine you know Israeli charities um, you can find that you can give money to that are directly helping the people, directly helping Israeli people. But don't try to say you're helping Israel and at the same time you're investing. Don't try to mock, you know, mock people, or mock, like you deceive it, you've been deceived. If you, if you, if you want to help Israel, then donate the money. Don't, try to say you're helping Israel and you, but then you're holding stock you're helping yourself you're trying to help yourself right that's the reality of it you 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 you're two-faced like if you want to you want to help give money away don't give money but you're getting something for the money you're getting stock because you're not really giving money are you and ultimately all you're doing is if this goes south, if, if this doesn't work out for Zion and shares go to nothing, to one cent, below one cent, then you've lost all your money. And where is all that money? It doesn't help Israel. The money's been squandered by the people running Zion, right? Johnny Boy Brown and um, the CEO and all their mothers, right? They know what's going on. So, if you say, if you want to help Israel, you go and find a proper, genuine company, um, charity, yeah, in Israel, 
helping poor people or whatever the cause, right? Dogs and cats, if you like, or whatever. You go and give your money, right, to Israeli charities. But don't say you're helping Israel by buying stock. Don't don't say that because you're not, right? Israel doesn't profit in, in any way from that, from those shares or whatever. Anyway, it's not financial advice, right? It's just my opinion. Do what you want with your money. Like, no, I, don't, I don't really care, right? But don't try to... It's clever people. You know, not everyone's dumb. So don't try and say... Don't follow the, 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 the line that you're helping Israel by buying Zion stock. Don't, don't try to buy into that rubbish, right? So the, basically what's happened is almost 18 cents getting back to the price action, that it fell all the way to eight, eight, just under eight and a half, right? Just under eight and a half cents. So what's that? Like 10, basically it was 18, it's nine and a half. It lost nine and a half cents in one, one day. One trading day, you see it drops. Well, not 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 in one day because on the, it peaked on to eighteen, almost eighteen, but just tailing off of that trading day, nineteenth, and then the next trading day, the twentieth, it basically gave back nine and a half. It couldn't stay up, right? And then yesterday, twenty first got as high as 11.37 and then today as you see it's like not moving more or less 22nd November 2024 went back down to 10.28 cents right and don't forget this has been rising from three cents and this is basically in my opinion based on people as I say, buying into, you know, thinking they're helping Israel, right? And giving money monthly and, and so on. And that's why it's risen. It's no other reason I, that I can see of. So, I don't know. To me, for me, my opinion, like, it's heading back down. In my opinion. There's only... The only way it's going to go up is some like manipulated, not like it's, it's some, it's either a pump and dump, someone with a lot of followers saying they're going to buy Zion, right? And then Zion, you know, people do buy it and it's pumped, right? That's number one. Or some news from the company that's misleading and then it goes up or both at the same time it's both at the same time price goes a lot higher if it's news from the company price goes high but it could be misleading news it could be like promises promises you know like maybe maybes you know or if they say, for instance, yeah, they cleared out the well, done the fishing, got the item, you know, the pipe or whatever, the drill bit it was stuck in the in the in the in the well, and all 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 is well, you know, all's going well. They're proceeding ahead. Price might jump up somewhat. Who knows? Who knows how high? If other trading platforms allow you to buy Zion trade it or whatever buy stock then obviously that helps people if people are able to buy it so apart from that it might go up i don't know how high no one knows but ultimately if it comes to nothing the the testing the, the completion of the world the testing whatever if it comes to nothing then it's just going to sink stock price is going to sink again right 
back to three, three cents, if not lower. Right, but obviously that people still holding out, out hope um, while they're keeping the dream alive on the site of MJ1, right? Because, and that's the way it is. That's the way it is, guys, right? Like, I was saying it back here, I don't know when it was, like 60 cents, when it was falling, 50, 40. I said it was heading for one cent. Didn't say it was going to go to one cent, but I got pretty close, didn't I? Like from six sixty odd cents, you know, going down to to three cents. It's pretty close to one cent. I'm not far. I wasn't far off, was I? So you wouldn't say I did. You wouldn't say I called it wrong. Called it right. But as I say, I'm going to call it now. I'm going to say that if if it comes to nothing. This MJ1, I don't care how high the stock goes, even if it goes to $5. If it if, if it comes to nothing, it, it, the stock price is just going to collapse, right? I've got no way of knowing if it's going to be pumped, etc., etc. But that's it, guys. So, and you know, when it when it when it's falling, when the stock's falling. It's hard to get your orders filled. It's hard to sell. It's hard to, hard to get out. You know, because as everyone's trying to sell, the stock's falling. Stock's falling more and more. So everyone wants to get their orders filled to get out. And that's where you see... That's where you see it, like, crashing down even more. And you might not get your orders filled. Especially on kind of like... Um, second-hand uh, brokers, you know, like certain certain trading platforms, they they don't have direct, they, they, they're like third-hand, you know, um, go through, go, what do they call it, go between men, you know, go between, so they, they take your order, they put it through with some other orders, etc. and there's a big delay, you might not get it filled, as you saw it here dropping this is on the one week chart dropping and up dropping up dropping and this is the big drop here right so everyone selling 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 etc goes to three cents and obviously it's got to go through the course right it's got to go the zion oil and gas stock znog it's got to go through this um Whatever it's going to go through to see whatever happened, what comes of MJ1, what what comes of MJ1, and then thereafter, that's what's going to happen to the stock price. This is on the one month chart. Um, got to reset it. Hang on, I've got to reset it. This is on the one month chart. It got as high as. 170 $1, almost $1.74 thereabouts going back it goes back to 2020 August 2020 July 2020 obviously it was pumped that high and then it fell all the way down to three three cents from 174 to 3 cents and then from 18 almost 18 cents to just over now 10 cents it's 10 cents 0.78 as I speak the Zion oil and gas Zion oil and gas stock ZNOG so that's where it is, guys, and that's the situation. You're buying into, you're not helping Israel, you're buying into, look, if there was oil in a, in a well, call company whatever you want, right, everyone would buy stock. An Arab, a Jew, a black, a white, a Chinese, you know, anyone. It doesn't matter where, who buys it, where the money comes from. And it doesn't matter who, who it's going to help. 
everyone was going to buy the stock. There's no problem people buying stock if they find oil. But you're investing in, not in Israel, you're investing in, in speculation for you to get, to try, you know, to try to make money. And, and you're making the company money when you're speculating, right? It's a risky stock. It's, it's an ex exploration company. It's not an oil production company. They don't produce oil and gas. They haven't produced a drop of oil, right? They haven't produced a drop of oil. So, so you know, for production proper. Therefore, it's all speculation. Um, your money, you might as well consider it that you're, you're giving them money, you're giving the company money because they're not helping Israel, but you think you think they're helping Israel, so you're giving them money. But you're that's what exactly what you're doing. You're giving them money. The people that run the company, you're giving them money, right? But if you don't want to give them money and you want to help Israel, then you go and find some Israeli charities and you, you donate the money. Instead of giving money to people that are telling you there's oil when then when there's not. Right, because they've tested MJ1 already. They drilled another well, MJ2. There was no oil there, right? Not not for production. And now they're going back to MJ1. Like, and they're saying something stuck in the well. And they don't have the tools to get it out. And they're supposed to have bought a new rig and professional uh, crew. They're supposed to have a professional crew and everything else. You'd think they'd have all the equipment. You'd think the professional crew would tell him, look, something could get stuck. Where's your fishing equipment, etc." So nothing, you know, you, this is what you're investing in. You're investing in the lifestyles of the people that run in a company. And that's it, that's it, guys, right? So wake up, give yourself a slap, yeah? Yeah, get on your hands and knees and repent that you haven't given a penny to any you know, uh, Israeli company, uh, charity, any Israeli charity, you haven't donated one penny to any Israeli charity, all you've done is given money to the people running Zion oil and gas, right? So wake up, smell the coffee, give yourself a slap and tell you, and don't get caught up in all this, um, uh, you know, it's a misleading manipulation. Don't get caught up in it. But anyway, it's not financial advice. <laughs> I've got to say that, right? Don't, you know, do what you want to do. Zion could go to $10 tomorrow. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying I, I've got no control over the share price of Zion. Who knows what, what could happen? Do you see my point? So is what it is, guys. But, uh, you know, don't say that you're helping Israel because that, you're not, you're not, right? Even if Zion shop share price went $100 tomorrow, you're still not helping Israel. 